Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Pisces, it is the last crack of the morning for me. Um, I heard a voice that woke me up. The voice said, are you happy? Are you happy? And <laughs> to wake up with that voice, I'm like, <gasps> and then I'm like, am I happy? And then I realized that, yes, I am happy. And then I thought it was a nice question to ask. And then, you know, I woke up and did my thing, my stretches and what I do in the morning. And I grabbed my phone and I, I my audible turned on and they're, they're pushing that book with uh, Prince Harry that spare and so I was thinking about it already reading it but now I'm definitely going to read it because then it clicked in my mind I realized whose voice I heard I heard Princess Diana's voice that's why it sounded like that are you happy and so you know I was like okay so I'm going to definitely read that book. I don't know if that's a message for you guys. Sometimes I get my own messages, but I do share them sometimes. Um, then I started realizing about yesterday's message, something to do about, you know, how our deceased loved ones from the other side, they help us, you know, they help us in these moments. And, you know, um, whenever we're going through something difficult, you know, they help us. They, they're, they're there to guide us at times. So I definitely feel like, that's a continuation for me of yesterday's reading of how Prince Harry has his mom, you know, and his mom guides him. I just, I, I'm not making fun of it. I love the British accent. Um, so yeah, so I think that's a question that maybe you guys need to ask yourselves. Are you happy? I think in terms of like Prince Harry, I'm not even going to begin to pretend like I understand monarchies and the ways and I, I don't know shit. I don't even know this person really, but I will tell you this. What I am feeling and picking up from this person is that he'd been through a serious trauma and he was almost forced, not, well, in his way, in his mind, he was forced to handle it a certain way. And he's letting it all out it may not look pretty it may hurt people but he's speaking his truth it's like he's just letting it come out because he couldn't hold on to it anymore he couldn't let that fester inside of him anymore like he's talking about a lot of things i hear you know so this is good you know i don't know if this is something maybe you need to do let it all out diarrhea of the mouth you know and just keep on pushing it out because you don't want to hold on to it anymore you want to be this clean empty slate you know so that's what i'm getting here pisces are you happy i do have the six of swords here in the reversal see upright i see this woman in this picture and she's definitely in this place of isolation almost looks like a prison you know, and she's in suffering in silence. She's suffering in pain alone. In the reversal to me, Pisces, is kind of like, like coming back to it, like maybe opening up a little bit, you know, coming back to it, opening up a little bit. Don't hold it back. Don't run away from it. That's what I'm getting here. Don't run away from it. I just heard that too. Don't run away from it. All right, let's begin. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today. For my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos, what messages do we have for Pisces? Wow. The clarity sometimes in which these cards come out for me, Pisces. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
So we got the King of Cups in the reversal, the Sun in reverse, and Queen of Swords in the reversal. Wow. Let me process this, Pisces, because... Uh, okay, so I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to keep them upright just so you can see the pictures because they're so pretty. And my hands are super greasy because I, I put lotion on. I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's start with these two just so you can see where this is coming from. So King of Cups to me, Pisces in the reversal, is something like either somebody's really closed off emotionally or someone has a little too much emotion. So it could be either or. Now, with the Sun card right next to it in the reversal, this is about some type of sadness, some type of depression. You know, something, you know, that, you know, I feel leads to come out. Now, I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is someone else, Pisces. And this whole thing with, are you happy? You know, Sun card upright is happy, you know, and it's crazy because it came out in the challenge position. You know, it's like, are you happy? Are you, are you asking yourself these questions? Then I have here, Pisces, which is the Queen of Swords in the reversal. In the reversal, it signifies a lie. It signifies something, Pisces, that maybe someone manipulated or is trying to, to, to push, maybe a narrative or something. We will go deeper, Pisces. Um, but I am definitely seeing the question here. Are you happy? You know, are you happy? Because from where it's looking like here in this situation, I think, I, I'm not going to say you're not, because I, I, I have a good intuition and I feel you guys. You guys will find happiness, you know, um, it's something that's coming to mind. Like when we were, when I was a child, a lot of times they like to give examples for myself, but, um, from myself, um, I grew up in New York, you know, the apartments were small and, you know, you would think I would go to my aunt's house, you know, and a bunch of my cousins would come. And the ants would go and play cards and drink coffee in the kitchen. And then, you know, the, the, all the kids would shove in themselves into a room. You know, a little tiny bedroom in New York City. And when I tell you that was sheer joy and happiness, you would think not. Like, oh my God, it's a health hazard. There's a problem here. You know what I mean? Like, you would see all these things and it's like, that's not happiness. No, it was sheer fun, joy. You know, like we, we had a great time. This was pre any real issues, you know, uh, that we we had and we just really enjoyed each other's company. And I don't know why that's coming up right now. I don't know why, Pisces. Let's go a little bit deeper because I'm like, what? <laughs> what? So I don't know if it's trying to say sometimes more, sometimes less is more. Is that what I'm feeling? Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. Some of you may be thinking about living more of a minimalistic lifestyle. I feel like some of you, if you do decide to move or come back to something, Pisces, take things very slow. Um, don't overdo anything is the energy that I'm feeling. Kind of like with stuff with taking on too much we got the nine of pentacles here at the reversal this to me is a sign of someone you know attaching themselves to someone else and we with the six of swords it's kind of like somebody's coming in somebody's coming back you know this definitely could feel like a past person pisces and they may be asking for more of a relationship or some type of commitment um i don't know pisces I, i'm gonna go deeper because i'm not really understanding it yet I'm a little lost, but let's keep going, especially with that analogy, that my personal one, but let's keep going. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this King of Cups in the reversal. We got the Eight of Cups with the Empress in the reversal. Someone makes you feel very drained, Pisces. Some, you know, I feel like, okay, so this is what I'm getting. You can't give somebody something that you don't have. 
So I know a lot of you, oh, that's what it is, I think, Pisces. Like a lot of you make happiness wherever you're at. You could be happy by yourselves on the couch, you know, but I feel like there's more to this. There's going to be someone, Pisces, that kind of comes along and it's going to be very draining. I believe this is a past person. You know, there's somebody here that wants to kind of not on per. I don't know if it's on purpose yet, but I do feel like it's like they're they're going to be very drained. Look at that, the Queen of Cups in the reversal, Pisces. This is definitely some type of strong connection. Like uh, we got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, so it's definitely a strong connection, a uh, big union. Um, two people that I think we're destined to meet in this lifetime or be with each other in this lifetime. This could be family. You know, it doesn't have to be a loved one, like a, a relationship, a sexual relationship, but it definitely can be. Um, and I feel like this is, it's, it's, it has its challenges, Pisces. It's almost like you can never really get away from this person ever. Maybe because something is not complete, something is not done yet, you know, but you want to, you want this to be done. You want this to be over. You know, you're looking for your way out of this situation is what I'm feeling because it's draining. You know, it's exhausting and it's draining. Give me one moment. Yeah, you don't, as much as you can make any situation good, I feel like spirit's trying to tell you that your mental health, your emotional well-being is going to be put to a test or to a challenge. It's like something that might be coming up, something that might have just happened, but it's going to be put to the test. So, you know, I think there were some type of feelings or emotions that you kind of ran away from or you kind of hid, you know, or kind of buried maybe because you had to or maybe because you're just an optimist, you know, maybe because you like to see the better. So you, you know that you're very grateful. You have a lot of things to be happy for. So it's like, why, why dwell on that thing? You know, why sit there thinking about that one thing? You know, but I'm telling you, this is a big thing. And it's between two people that need to have this moment or, or needed to have this moment. But I don't know what that means. All right, let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about this sun in the reversal. Five of swords. I think somebody's been running from this situation. Um, page of swords. You know, it's funny initially I saw the page of swords and that card but you know not that it means much but I, I saw it coming already in my mind you're never really completely free from this person like I, I can't even like begin to explain it's like whether you see them or not they see you you know they just they're so attached to your energy they don't and the feeling is is that they don't want to be but they can't help themselves. There's like a bigger force between the two of you. And like I said, this doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. This absolutely could be, you know, um, friends, you know, um, just someone that you were meant to be with and go through an experience in this lifetime to help develop your soul and possibly their souls, you know? So it just happens that way. But I feel like there's some type of issue that someone has been running from and it needs to come back. You know, I saw that Queen of Cups there in the reversal. These are two people that I can't even put the words together with this. They're, they they almost belong together, or at least in this moment, for like something bigger to happen, to come out of it. But let me go deeper. Somebody definitely watches you, Pisces. I can't help but see those two faces headed in that direction, watching you as you leave and walk away, but they're not going anywhere. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They're not going anywhere. So I don't really know what that means exactly. Let's throw one more out. They're not going anywhere. They always watch you. Spirit, give me one more. Two of swords. This could be an energy Pisces that's waiting for you to come back. They're waiting for you to come back. They're waiting for you to say something. And only that they're waiting for you to come and say something only to be met with a cold shoulder. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. Whatever this situation is, this person is not happy. Are you happy? No, this person is not happy. 
So as much as they want to clear the air with you, as much as they want to have this communication, you know, let you know how they feel, or whatever this is, Pisces, it's like, if you did, it's like, I just feel like they're going to give you the cold shoulder. That's what I'm getting with the two of wands, you know, so you're not going to have a proper, I don't know, I just heard it in the British proper, you know, and I'm sorry, like, I just love the accent, but like, I, you're not going to have a proper conversation with this person. Um, this person is definitely going to use things that they've seen against you is my feeling Pisces, maybe things that they've heard about you, they're going to try to use it against you. Spirit, give me a little bit more about this person. Give me a little bit more. The justice. And the king of swords so we got the queen of swords and the king of swords here in the reversal there's a lot of people involved pisces that's what i'm getting a lot of people involved there might be a couple of couples here you know i feel like there's this two couples i'm seeing them now they're at a dinner table and they're just like gossiping and talking about you um that's what i felt i just seen them you know ha ha he and he he who with their wine and you know i see a drink and the table you know, and they're just sitting there. It's almost like you, whatever happened to you, Pisces, is a topic of conversation for them. You give them something to talk about. You give them something to talk about. Your entertainment, Pisces. That's the real. Your entertainment for a couple, a couple of drunkards. You know, and I, look, I drink too, so I'm not here judging it. But it's like, you know, like when you, when I go out and I drink, you know, with my family, you know, it's like, it's for fun. You know, it's not for let's talk about the next person or let's, you know, talk about this situation. You know, it, it's for fun. Sometimes it's a real little therapy. You know, yes, I do get that. Um, but that's what I'm getting here. Like it's your entertainment. Something about your entertainment for this person, for this group of people. Because I saw two, uh, a, a set of couples, four people. Yeah, it was four people. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this Queen of Swords in the reversal. Tell me more, Spirit. The Tower. Can I just say what that means? I'm just going to show you what this means. Queen of Swords in the reversal, a lie. The Tower in the reversal, trying to prevent a catastrophe. So there's a lie here that's being perpetuated to prevent an overall downfall of somebody's kingdom, of somebody's world, Pisces. So I just want you to see that. But let's keep going. Let's see what else comes out of that. All right, Spirit, give me one more. Nine of Cups in the reversals. The wishes will not be granted. What they're hoping for is that if they make this a topic of conversation, if they talk to enough people about you, about um, I don't care about you or your weak crew. That's what I just heard. I don't care about you or your... That must be you, Pisces. Because it's funny because I can always feel you guys. You guys are optimistic. You guys always see the, the good things in life. But what I am feeling, Pisces, and you that's that's your energy. That just came through. I don't care about you or your weak crew. What you gonna do when big pot becomes for you? You know, I'm not running. So they can they can talk, they can keep ki ku and drink and you know, make up shit and try to prevent this tower moment, this the catastrophe from coming, Pisces. But it's nine of cups. It's not, it's their wishes are not going to be granted. Their wishes are not going to be fulfilled. What they don't understand is that the more that they lie on this situation, the more that they try to manipulate the situation, control the narrative in the situation, the more that their lives will not be successful. That's just the way it works. That until you could be a clean slate, like Prince Harry, you know, and just like, it's not all pretty what he's saying. No. Some stuff people might be like, oh shit, maybe he shouldn't say those things. But this is what's coming from his soul. This is the truth. This is how he feels, his version. So it's fine. Let it all come out, Pisces. 
let it all come out. If it, if it offends someone, it offends someone, you know, but this is how you untangled the web we weaved if first we battled to deceive. I don't even know that saying, you know, like, so that's what I'm feeling right now, Pisces, like these web of lies, like setting the record straight, you know, um, I feel very strongly, Pisces, this person is not going to be able to live a successful life in this web that they weaved. Is that how you say it? I don't know. All right, Spirit, give me one more. Whoa. Now, I don't know. Oh, it came out reverse. I just picked it up. Uh, so, double, double sun, Pisces, in the reversal. So, how are you going to tell me this? I saw the King of Cups, Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Swords, King of Swords reverse. Two sun cards reverse, Pisces. This person... Are you happy? Is not happy. They don't know how to kind of take things that they do have in their life and just be grateful for it. To me, it sounds like they're complainers. I'm getting an energy of complainers, woe is me type of energy as well. You think you're so hot shit, but you're not. That's what I'm feeling here. All right. Spirit, what is the outcome? Whoa, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I, I know what I feel. Bad luck, bad karma. Ace of Wands. So, you know when someone doesn't have someone's lot. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Somebody that's lying a lot is going to be like everyone's going to be be able to see the lies. They're going to have a string of bad luck where everything that they say people are literally going to be coming like literally, like I'm telling you, are going to be coming up to me like that's not true. That that that's that's not how I have. That's a lie. So that's what I'm feeling here, Pisces. Like there's going to be a string of bad luck on everything that they try to say or manipulate with. It's going to be met with What's that word? Interference? No not backlash maybe kind of like push forward like well okay let's give an example they say oh so Pisces did oh my god I don't know guys but it's like okay so they're gonna say a lie about you and then next thing you know it's like the person that they're saying the lie to is gonna be like but I thought this happened or I thought it was like this and then they're gonna be like tangled up in that web that they weaved and they're going to be back uh, 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 uh. and then they're going to start seeing like it's like a, it's almost like God's going to take their ability away to lie. Like maybe you always been able to see it. Maybe people close to you, your family have always been able to see it. But the, to me, it's coming off like it's almost going to be like they're cursed, like they're cursing themselves and they're going to look like the village idiot or like the town idiot where everything that they say People are just going to be like, that's a lie. And that's a lie. You know, like, I don't know, Pisces. I don't know if that made sense. Hopefully it did. All right. I try to explain my emotions as best as I can. Sometimes it comes out good. Sometimes I don't know. But you guys seem to understand me. It might be, it might be like this weird Piscean language that we have. All right. Let's do the O shows. I don't care about you and your weed crew. What you gonna do when Pig Pop becomes for you? I'm not running. <laughs> All right. Spirit, give me one more. So we got trust. And sharing. Ooh, ooh. Let's do one more. Conditioning. Something about Pisces that when you do share, like, okay, people know when someone's lying and they know when someone's telling the truth, kind of like with this whole Prince Harry thing. I do feel weirdness about it. It's not going to be 100% clear, but what I will tell you is that that boy is not that man. He's a man. That man is like spilling his guts, whether it looks good or it doesn't look good, they're just like, they need to get it out somehow. 
you know, and to me, that's a sign of someone coming back from the dead, you know, so I feel like this energy, like trust the process kind of feeling, trust whatever it is that you're sharing will be met correctly. Like there's a lot inside of you, Pisces, that I feel like you've been kind of holding back and hiding back from. Um, you're going to get an opportunity is what I'm getting. And even if you don't get an opportunity or confrontation or whatever this is exactly, Pisces, to me, it's like the universe will set it right because this person is spinning a web of lies. This person is kind of like in this energy of creating bad karma for themselves. So I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to ask a question for you, Pisces, with this. So Spirit, give me one more when it comes to Pisces and Pisces in this whole situation. complete okay so it's kind of like what i was feeling earlier completion in the reverse so you know what let's do one more just to be on the safe side because i don't want to say it wrong all right one more spirit patience in the reversal mm. You're going to lose your cool is what I'm getting. I don't think you're, you're, it's this, this might be a very triggering conversation or a triggering situation. This is something that I feel like you really push down deep somewhere deep in there, Pisces, and it might trigger you. So know this, Pisces, no conversations ever going to be perfect, nor no situations ever going to be perfect. But I do feel an energy of you running away from your feelings. And when this is scratched, when this like thing is like poked at or triggered I do feel like you might lose your patience your patience might be really tested in this situation so I don't know what that means I don't know if you'll get physical hopefully not Pisces I don't know if it means that you know you could do without this conversation or these people but try to deal with it in a different way maybe you need therapy maybe you need to write a book about your feelings or emotions Pisces I don't know maybe you need to take a cooking class I don't know why that's coming to mind but there's something here about finding outlets, healthy outlets to deal with whatever this thing inside of you that's been festering, you know, and whatever this person, listen, let me tell you something about this person. This person is creating their own karma. So there's nothing you have to do, say, be, it's just, it doesn't really matter. They're creating their own karma. So let them, let them do it. Your, your biggest problem and understanding here Pisces is that there is something that has festered really deep that needs to come out keep living a life of optimism are you happy ask yourself every day if you have to or if you're happy today you know what is it going to take for you to be happy for me I think I'm getting the biggest thing out of this is that being genuine living life on my terms being free right free from restraints, whether that's in my mouth, in my heart. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm getting here, Pisces. All right. I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.